So the hot PE study was a study of about 525 patients uh, who were receiving the direct oral anticoagulant rivaroxaban uh, in low risk pulmonary embolus. So this was a population of patients who were at low risk for, for adverse outcomes after pulmonary embolus, both by a risk score and also by the absence of echocardiographic evidence of right ventricular systolic dysfunction. And it was a single arm study where patients received rivaroxaban and were followed for adverse outcomes over time. And what the investigators found was that the risk of adverse outcomes, specifically recurrent pulmonary embolus or death, was quite low in this population, it was about 1.2%, with a 95% confidence interval that did not overlap uh, a historical control. Uh, and they found that rates of bleeding were relatively low as well. Now the study is important, it's a big uh, multinational, multi-center study of a new approach to treating low-risk pulmonary embolus, namely with very little initial heparin followed by a direct oral anticoagulant. One of the issues with the study, though, is it's a single-arm trial, so there's no comparison with the standard of several days of heparin first followed by a direct oral anticoagulant, which is more the standard of care, at least in the United States. Um, and so there's no comparator group. So it's really hard to say, well, is this as effective as that approach? But you can say that at least in a very well-selected population of individuals who are at low risk for events, that a direct oral anticoagulant uh, approach, and uh, in this case, patients got very little, perhaps as few as one doses of uh, low molecular weight heparin, and almost all were discharged after two days in the hospital. This is potentially a strategy to shorten the time of hospitalization for people with acute pulmonary embolus. Again, if they're low risk, and they're selected properly. So I think more needs to be done in terms of understanding the safety and effectiveness of this particular approach, but I think it shows uh, the extent to which we're being able to make a conversion from hospital therapy to ambulatory therapy for some conditions, including ones like PE, where traditionally it's been a condition where people get hospitalized and spend a fair amount of time uh, getting treatment in the hospital before they go home.